And uh, to my right and to your left, the one and only Nico from Iron Maiden. How you doing, buddy? Fine, Jeff. Thanks. How are you? Not too bad. We're hanging in here. We're, we're, we're doing the thing. And uh, and it's good that you're out here. You're doing the foundations thing. You've been out here before for foundations? Or? No, this is my first time. And... Uh, Hopefully not the last. It's brilliant, and I think it's uh, it's a great opportunity, for, especially for artists' point of view, to uh, actually get to meet uh, faces to the names that you right. get to hear about, and uh, organisations of press and, and radio stations across the country. It's really nice, and uh, the organisation is absolutely fantastic. I think it's uh, you know the actual event organizations the event the unity the uh the partying till five in the morning and uh, uh well yeah <laughs> i'm not sure it was five this morning but it was certainly a party yeah yes um, absolutely tell us a little bit if you would about uh, what iron maiden's been up to in, uh, recently yeah. um, I, I noticed you have a, a few changes uh, bruce dickinson no longer with the band is that correct yeah, that's right yeah silly boy anyway silly boy um, What's happening right now is uh, Steve, at the, at the moment, Steve Harris was supposed to be here this weekend with me, but um, he's in the studio back in England um, mixing the Donington uh, show that we did last year, and we, we're going to release that as a video um, piece sometime towards the end of the year, probably for Christmas, boys and girls. So, yeah, and then, uh, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, we've got a personnel change to fill. Bruce has left the band to pursue a solo career. Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> well, hey, you tell me, you've been a bad guy's in a band for 12 years. 12 years later, he wants to go and pursue a solo career. And what is wrong with that? I don't know. It's yeah, I was, I was kind of surprised because, you know, you think Iron Maiden, you think Bruce Dickinson, and it's kind of, I don't think it's going to be a great move for him to do that. But you know. Well, I wish him all the best if it, if it turns out good for him. That's fine as well. But, yeah, we've got the, the, uh, the task now. Uh, we, we're not really concerned about finding a voice. Getting a voice, I think, is there's a voice out there somewhere that will suit for Maiden. It's that persona, the showmanship. I mean, Bruce was a, an excellent, if not uh, an untoppable frontman. I mean, he was really good with, with the audience and uh, the way he controlled himself, you know, within the show, it was, he was magic. Um, so that's going to be the hard point, to find someone that's got that kind of charisma that Bruce had.